as I talk to the guitars instead of you. I apologize. Okay. This guitar probably had most to do with launching the Martin Company into the stratosphere. The D18. I'm going to have to reach into my pocket for a pick for this one because this is a flat picker's delight. Bluegrass Boys. Mahogany, Honduran mahogany, back and sides, solid spruce top. Um, these guitars just cut. They give you that good strong percussion. But that mid-range really sits in the mix between the fiddle and the banjo and the mandolin. So when you're doing your solo, if you hadn't played the night before and you got all your sleep, all those notes just sit in the mix. Great guitar. About a $2,300 guitar, hard shell case, made in America. Um, my buddy in high school was very envious of his first guitar, was one of these. We used to sit out on the grass lunchtime, pick up dates, playing Crosby Stills and Nash songs. The next, uh, we missed the line, the 15, all solid uh, mahogany, Morrison 10 and Nick. The 17 is essentially the same instrument, all solid uh, mahogany, but a dovetail neck, as uh, not a j neck joint, as the uh, 18. After the 18, they did a 21, which was an 18 with rosewood, but fairly plain instrument, you know, the black binding. When you walk up to somebody on the street and you say, have you ever heard of Martin Guitars? This is the mental image. This is the D28. Rosewood. In this case, I believe it's Indian Rosewood. Uh, the Brazilian Rosewood, I think if you're really, really nice to Martin and you have lots of money, north of 10 grand, you could probably get this guitar with Brazilian. Uh, I'm going to be blasphemous and say I actually prefer the, the Indian to the Brazilian. Mostly because I'm cheap, and mostly I think that the Brazilian guitars that I play tend to be really honky. Beautiful instruments, but honky. Anyway. That's that guitar. Of course, that one was pre-war, and we'll talk about that in another segment. We'll even tune it. So, now you're starting to hear that bottom end. That Martin is known for. The dreadnought body, the X-bracing, the rosewood, gives this really strong, Rich brought him in. Good highs. Because the bass and the highs are so strong, the mid range sounds almost a little lacking. But I love it anyway. The other thing. The Martins are known for. Besides being cold and out of tune is the dynamic range. Pick them softly to get real delicate. Hammer them and they just go, is that all you got? So they have this huge dynamic range, rich bottom end, this is what people buy a market for. At least that's what I bought mine for. Moving along, in the mid 60s, Rosewood was getting hard to come by and pricey. 
And somebody in accounting said, do you really need to have it, that book match back? And they said, well, yeah, we kind of do. It's our trademark. They said, but you know how many more guitars you could build out of that plank if you did it with a three-piece back? Uh, and they went, well, you know, you got a point there. And they built a couple of guitars like that. And it actually was different. It actually had more bass than the D28. So they said, okay, let's go with it. They put binding on the neck so the guitar salesman could go 18, 28. Oh, yeah, that's a 35. It's got binding. You wouldn't have to look at the back. And they charged $35 more for it back in the 60s. And they started selling more guitars. And actually making boats loads of money because it cost them less. Actually, I had this simile officially made it out to me uh, to be true. Still a great guitar. I like it well enough. I, my personal fondness still is with the D28. <clears throat> We're going to talk about the D28 in detail in another segment. Above the 35s, you get into the 40s. And the most infamous 40, of course, is the D45, which we don't have currently. We get them from time to time. But compared to some of the work they do on the D42s, the 45 looks kind of garish. It's got big old diamond, hexagonal inlays, Binding all around the outside, binding here, you know, the whole guitar is bound front and back. Lots of abalone. Uh, modern X bracing. So it, it, it's a pretty guitar, but it just doesn't have some of the character that we've seen in the 40s, 41s, and 42s, which traditionally have less binding. But in this particular case, you'll see a herringbone binding. This is a D42, the Doobie 42. They did with a collaboration of Tommy Johnston. Uh, and they do that with a lot of 42s. We've had a Peter Frampton. Uh, the list goes on. Most of your signature guitars are going to be 42s. And the difference is they go to a higher grade of spruce. They do a little bit better job of picking up the tone of the rosewood. It's still pretty rosewood. But you know they actually go through and sound the planks. I mean, they do this for all the guitars. But they take more care in getting the grade of this. The bracing will be more scalloped. And scalloped just means that when they put the top together, they'll tap it and tune it, tune it for it, and then they'll shave the bracing down to try and accentuate the resonance of it. So a 42 is going to be a little bit more mid-range, a little bit more aww kind of a voice as opposed to ah. I hate saying ah anywhere near a Martin's because even the D... The XD has great resonance, but you can hear, hopefully, that this has got just as... Oh, we ought to do this. So, um, the, the Doobie 42, uh, I really like these guitars because of the bracing stuff they do. You can get a 40, 41, 42, 45, and pretty much if you're looking in this price range, because this guitar is about a $6,000 guitar, you might as well come down and talk to me or go to your favorite Martin dealership that's serious about Martins, and you can tell a serious Martin dealership because they'll have five or six custom shop guitars lying around. A custom shop Martin isn't that much more when you're in this price range. Might as well get exactly what you want. So that's how the series worked for Martin. I'm Jack from GuitarShowcase.com in San Jose. Um, and I, I hope you learned a little bit here. We're going to do another segment in a bit and talk about the different body styles, which is worthy of its own segment. So take care, keep picking, have fun.